what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here since i'm a halloween ends in this video here again today so one of the producers ryan freeman he responded to somebody over on instagram who had left this comment stating that there's a dude on facebook saying that the end trailer is going to drop june 23rd is there any accuracy at all and ryan freeman followed up with sounds legit now i've seen people already say that this was i first saw this over on the halloween subreddit where it was like oh this is a rumor but i don't even think it's a rumor as much as it is someone responding with sarcasm only off the basis that look at what the first person said they didn't say who the guy was they didn't name anybody they just said a guy on facebook that's not to say that he's saying that it's not happening as much as he's trying to say that it sounds legit off of the sarcastic basis that you haven't stated that this was Jason Blum who said it. You didn't say that the Halloween official Twitter page or somebody associated with the production said it. You said some guy on Facebook. Like, so to Ryan Freeman, that sounds like, you know, someone that I he wouldn't trust. So sarcastically, yes, that, that sounds legit. But that doesn't mean it's not happening. The reason it could happen is because of the fact that the black phone comes out that weekend. Now, I know I've stated that I would like them to do it earlier in the month. But again, associating it with a horror movie is obviously going to be what they try to do. Uh, nope is in July. So the earliest, if they're again actually going to follow that pattern of what they did with Halloween 2018, then it looks like we will be expecting to get that trailer in June. And there's a movie coming out in June that looks like it's gonna be fantastic. And that's the new Ethan Hawke movie, The Black Phone, which is also associated with Blumhouse and Universal Pictures. So I was thinking about, you know, doing it with Jurassic World, but that's, that's not horror altogether. That's not Blumhouse either. That's just Universal without Blumhouse involvement. And then you have Nope, which again is Universal, but it's not Blumhouse involved involvement so then that leaves the black phone which is a blumhouse production so what better way to start promoting halloween ends and release his trailer associating it with one of the very possibly biggest releases for blumhouse this summer the black phone so june 23rd could end up or that week anyway of the black phone releasing could be the week that we get the trailer and it'll be us seeing the footage that of course we saw at CinemaCon and getting to see that brawl in the kitchen getting to see some glimpses of what else was shown like i think they pretty much from what i recall and off the top of my head the footage that was shown was just like a recollection of the things that have happened in the David Water Green timeline with a little bit of hints of the stuff that happened in the original John Carpenter classic with with dialogue that would come up on the screen, like little flashy pop pop quotes or pop mentions to get you invested in what you're about to witness. The end of an era type of thing is what it sounds like this initial trailer is going to be, which I think is a unique approach to take. It's also effective in the sense that you're enticing your audience. You're not going to show too much. And then you show us a little bit of footage at the very end. And then ultimately, of course, we'll get a final trailer where I'm assuming you'll see a lot more footage shown, of course, as opposed to this first trailer that should be arriving in June. It just seems like that's what's going to happen. They've already followed the pattern with the CinemaCon thing. Jamie Lee Curtis did exactly what happened three years ago when she arrived at CinemaCon to announce the trailer and its release there. So... Or, or announced the trailer of or announced the trailer of the 2018 film there so she did it again this year with halloween ends at cinemacon so it's only safe to assume that just like how the trailer released months later in june of 2018 it seems like they're going to follow that pattern up with halloween ends trying, trying to keep in line with the full circle theme they're trying to go along with as as they keep building us towards this battle between good versus evil the shape versus laurie strode ryan freeman's comment honestly again that's rude in mostly sarcasm but it doesn't mean it has no truth to it the trailer for halloween ends very much so could arrive that week because of the fact that the black phone is releasing that week and we will get to see the first look at michael myers we'll get to see how Laura St we'll get to see the first look at laura strode and of course i'll come on here and talk about how the way she looks might be an indication of what stage in the movie this is because again i've made a video where i stated that maybe they are 
taking place after the events of Halloween Kills instantly early on in the movie, like right away, and then jumping four years later. They could do that because there's no mention of what their clothes were looking like. Nobody mentioned how they were dressed. We don't care how how Michael was dressed. I think it's pretty obvious how he was dressed. But if there were to been some descriptions about how Lori was dressed in that footage shown at CinemaCon, I would have been more backed up into believing that that's picking up on the night of Halloween kills. In fact, if people had out like flat out said that that's what it was, then I would be more on board with it. But doesn't seem like that's something that's going to happen because I think that again, many people would have pointed that out in the descriptions that people were giving in their reactions on Twitter to the footage they saw at CinemaCon. But then again, there could have been something going on where they were t told not to disclose certain things. They could disclose things, but not everything. And, you know, that's why no one described what clothes Lori was wearing, because if they had given us any sign of her wearing an outfit similar to Halloween Kills, then I would have been more long, long in, in the theory that uh, this movie will pick up right after Kills and they'll have that kitchen brawl there. Michael gets captured, jump 40 years later. He gets broke. He breaks out again. goes to Haddonfield, wreaks havoc, bada bing, bada boom. But it doesn't seem like that's going to happen because of the fact that, again, I think that's something that they would have mentioned, at least in the descriptions that were being given out as far as when people were reacting to their thoughts on Twitter. But all in all, this is just mainly about Ryan Freeman in that comment, because I know I think we watched a movie, made a video about this earlier. Shout out to you guys. Uh, and the comment itself, again, is just rooted in mostly sarcasm. I do know that somebody had brought it to my attention. Again, I saw it over on Reddit. So I just wanted to say that while they are addressing the trailer, they are not outright confirming it. Now, again, we could need to read between the lines and consider the reality of it all as it pertains to that being a good week to do it. But the original person who made that comment, they failed to give out any credible name as a, as a, other than just guy. <laughs> so guy, random guy is claiming that the end trailer is releasing on June 23rd. Any accuracy to this at all? It sounds legit. Sarcastic response to you failing to give an initial comment that's rooted in someone that usually is someone I guess Ryan Freeman would say is accurate, like the Halloween movies official social media accounts or Jason Blum or someone else involved with the production. You just said random guy. So knowing that it's just a random guy, that sounds legit sarcastically. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post of catch you and never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, and let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.